Welcome back. My final tipping point tonight, socialized health care. It's a dumb idea, and I will tell you why. But first, Senator Bernie Sanders thinks socialized health care is swell. Take a look. Obamacare has serious problems. Deductibles are too high. Premiums are too high. The cost of health care is going up at a much faster rate than it should. Ideally, what, where we should be going is to join the rest of the industrialized world and guarantee health care to all people as okay. a right. And that's why I'm going to introduce a Medicare for all single payer program. Deductibles are too high. Premiums are too high. The cost of health care is going up at a much faster rate than it should. Well, you got that right, Senator Sanders. But if single payer health care is so great, if it reduces costs, if the quality is so prime, why do Canadians come to the U.S. for treatment? Why did Fidel Castro travel to Spain for his treatment? If socialized health care is so affordable, why do 90% of people in France, where the single payer government financed health care system is said to be the best in the world, why do 90% of people in France buy supplementary insurance? Perhaps people want to cover medical care that they think they need, not just what the government tells them is okay. Senator Sanders, if Medicare for All is the way to go, why are there so many late night commercials on TV for extra supplementary Medicare coverage? Why would we want to copy a system known for its slow moving bureaucracy, gaps in coverage, shoddy care, inefficient pricing, government controlled doctors, and billions of dollars in wasted spending every single year? Senator Sanders, if government-run healthcare will drive down the cost, how does that work? What's going to stop the government from telling me that after I reach a certain age, my quality of life is not worth the monetary value of the medical treatment I need? What's going to make a single-payer, government-run healthcare system in America any different than the VA system with wait lines, secret lists, systemic abuse, monetary fraud, wasteful spending, and bureaucratic red tape that results in worsening conditions and shockingly even death for our nation's finest? Senator Sanders, what happens when a small percentage of malingerers hogs most of the health care budget and politicians decide they need to determine what treatments are discretionary and which are necessary so the whole system doesn't go bankrupt? What happens to our choices then? Do you want politicians making those choices for you? If single-payer health care provides such great quality of care, why do doctors in government-run health care systems all around the world, why do they earn 70% less in salary than doctors in free market systems? What's going to motivate doctors to do their best, and what's going to draw the best and the brightest to provide high quality of care if they aren't compensated for it? Senator Sanders, these are serious questions. I hope you answer, sir. Giving away our liberty in exchange for the idea of temporary security will result, the saying goes, in neither liberty nor security. And if history and facts are any indication, it will result also in an expensive, inefficient, low-quality, shoddy healthcare system. And that's my final point.